Welcome to this week's Tech Cookie. Uh, as always, I hope this recording funds you and your family well. And you'll notice today we're not starting at a familiar Montville Library homepage. We're actually on the CVS page. And uh, that's simply because uh, this uh, week's topic is going to be uh, just a couple uh, pointers, tips, and tricks about trying to book a COVID-19 vaccine appointment online, which even for the techier among us is uh, challenging <laughs> and difficult. Um, so I just thought I would share some best practices that uh, the staff here at the library has come up with and uh, that we can share with you. Um, just a couple disclaimers up front. Number one, at the library, we cannot help you make appointments. This is strictly a self-service uh, sort of operation or mission, if you will. Um, there is a phone number you can call for help that I'm going to share in this video. Um, I'm also going to post all the links in that phone number in the description for this video. So you don't have to worry about trying to like see where I'm going. Um, all the links will be available for you in the description. Um, and then the final thing is that uh, I'm recording this on the morning of February 19th. Uh, this is the current information as of February 19th, but this is a very dynamic situation. So, you know, things can change literally not only day by day, but in some cases hour by hour, minute by minute. Um, but as of this morning, this is the best and most current information that I have available to share with you. Um, so with that said, and all of that out of the way, let's get into it real quick. Uh, this is the CVS page for vaccination for COVID-19. And so what you would do once you click the link that I'm going to share with you in the description is you would just scroll down here to the states that it's available in, click on New Jersey. And typically, and again, this is the most current information This can change any moment. Typically, CVS has been making these appointments available on a more or less daily basis, but they open up uh, usually the availability around between 5 and 6 a.m. Yes, 5 and 6 a.m. So if you're an early bird, if you like getting up uh, before everybody else in the house, CVS might be the first place that you can try. Um, so as of now, it's, you know, 930, everything is fully booked and that's going to be typical. And that will probably stay that way um, for the rest of the day, uh, because, again, they go very early in the morning and people do get up that early, believe me. And they are they are on there trying to make those appointments. Um, the closest one, obviously, to Montville would be Chatham. Uh, but there are some other, you know, there's Cedar Grove. That wouldn't be too far. Um, Hackettstown, a bit more of a drive, but not crazy. Ledgewood, again, a bit of a drive, uh, but not insane. Um, it's obviously not available at anywhere near all the CVSs in New Jersey, although they are saying that they are going to expand uh, the number of locations in the weeks and months ahead. But for now, these are the only options uh, in New Jersey for CVS. Now, if there was availability. Uh, let's say, you know, we're at five o'clock in the morning. There would be a link here where it says at this time, all appointments in New Jersey are booked. There would actually be a link here that would say schedule your appointment. Um, obviously, the more flexible you are with location, the better chance you have of getting one, particularly if you are willing to take a road trip down to South Jersey, which again, I know is not fun, but uh, from the feedback I've received is that getting an appointment in South Jersey is slightly, slightly easier than getting one in North or Central Jersey. So keep that in mind. So that's option one is uh, CVS. Um, the second option is Rite Aid. Now getting to this vaccine schedule webpage is very tricky. It's not easy to get there if you just simply go to RiteAid.com. Um, so again, I'm going to share the link in the description so that you have your best chance of uh, getting it. Um, but you really need to follow this direct link. There really is, I, at least, and I've looked all over, I can't find a way to navigate directly through RiteAid.com to get to the screen. Um, 
unlike CVS, which again usually uh, puts out their appointments around five to six a.m. every morning, uh, Rite Aid is for the night owls. So Rite Aid usually, and again, current as of today, this could change. But they have typically been putting their appointments live around 11.30 p.m. to 12 midnight. So if you're a night owl, if you like to stay up late, then Rite Aid might be the better uh, choice for you to try. Um, once you get to this screen, you're just going to fill all of this out. And uh, you would obviously check the tick the box for COVID-19 dose 1, unless you've already gotten your first dose, but you probably haven't. Um, you fill all this out, and then it's going to give you a list of locations based on the zip code or the city and state that you supply here. Um, if you find nothing uh, in the range of the city and state you supply here, there is an opportunity on that next page to go ahead and change the zip code. And once again, just like CVS, um, availability uh, in South Jersey is easier to come by than availability in Central or North Jersey, unfortunately. Um, but people have been able to book appointments in North and Central Jersey as well. So again, Rite Aid, typically daily around 11.30 p.m. to 12 midnight. So that's the next option. Now, other than the pharmacies, of course, there are the mega sites, uh, the closest of which is in Rockaway, New Jersey, at the Rockaway Town Square Mall where the Sears used to be. Um, as of this morning, February 19th, it seems that they are only, uh, they are not opening up public appointments at this time. They are just emailing people who registered, uh, who pre-registered, if you will, either through the New Jersey uh, State website sign up or through Atlantic Health um, when the appointments are available. So there is no public process at this time. Again, as supplies hopefully improve in the near and medium future, that'll, that'll change. Uh, but right now, the um, Rockway mega site is basically by email invitation only for pre-registered people. Now, you can go ahead and register now today, of course, um, but I don't know when you would get that email. It could be quite some time. Um, the other mega site in North, North Jersey, of course, is at the Meadowlands. Um, and that one you actually can still book publicly. And again, it's through uh, Hackensack Meridian Health. Again, I will supply this link to you in the description for this video. Um, the tricky thing with this page is that based on people's experiences, number one, there is no set time that they release every day like CVS and Rite Aid have been doing. It can happen at any moment. And I'll show you some resources so that you can have a better shot of landing those random times. But people have said that even when appointments are available, this yellow box will be here saying all appointments are currently are full. So that may or may not be true at the time that you're trying to make an appointment. So don't, if you, if you get information that there's available appointments at the mega site and, and at the Meadowlands, don't be discouraged by this yellow box. Keep going. And then you begin the process with them by selecting which of the um, four currently eligible categories you fall into. Are you a healthcare worker? Are you a first responder? Are you age 65 and over? Or are you between 16 and 64 but with uh, underlying health conditions like uh, diabetes, heart conditions, that sort of thing. Um, and you just click whichever one of these is appropriate and then uh, go through the registration process. Um, again, no set time. That could happen at any moment, so you just have to be on, on guard. Um, and so I did want to share a couple of resources with you now that uh, can sort of alert you to when things become available, which again, it can be a minute by minute process. And when they do become available, they usually, whatever appointments are available, no matter if it's a mega site or a pharmacy, they will typically go within minutes, 15, 20 minutes at the top. So um, it is good to be connected to these services. I'm going to show you now to sort of get, let you get the jump if and when they become available. Um, so the first one here is a Facebook group. Um, it's called New Jersey COVID Vaccine Info. So just search for that group name in Facebook. You will find it. Um, and then just request uh, to join. In my experience, you get instantly approved. Um, when I joined this group last week, there was around 8,000 members. Tur currently this morning, there's 48.6 thousand members. 
So it's definitely growing. This is a place where when people see availability open up, they're going to post it. And so if you have, you know, notifications turned on for this group, you have a good chance of getting that jump, that like, you know, alert that will let it hopefully have a good chance of landing an appointment. Um, the second resource is a Twitter account. It's called Vax, V-A-X-X -X Updates. The handle is C19 Vax, V-A-X-X -X Updates at Twitter. Um, again, this account will post when availability uh, becomes, you know, live at any of these sites. Um, and so if you have not if you're in Twitter, or if you're a Twitter member, I should say, and you have notifications for this account turned on, you will get an alert on your phone um, when availability opens up. So this is another really good resource uh, to be a part of. Um, and then finally, and again, I'll provide uh, this in the description as well. This is a uh, the dedicated phone line. So maybe you're not as tech savvy. Um, maybe you have some questions about the vaccine, questions about COVID in general, questions about making appointments. This is a dedicated phone response line that uh, Morris County has set up with uh, employees and representatives from the Department of Health. So it's 973-829-8250. That number is available seven days a week, Monday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, so that can also be a good resource uh, to get in touch with, you know, if you just want to talk to somebody who probably knows a lot more about COVID than uh, I or anyone else, uh, this could be a good, a good resource for you. Um, finally, just one last general tip. And again, current as of now, but we don't know about the future. Um, I've heard people have had more success trying to book these appointments using their laptop or their desktop computer rather than their, uh, their cell phone. So, you know, what I recommend is, you know, have the alerts turned on your phone. But if you do get an alert that says, hey, you know, CVS just opened up appointments, for example, I would then, if you have a desktop or laptop, I would go get on that computer and try to book the appointment through there. Um, that's basically it. I wish you folks all luck. I know it's very frustrating. Um, hopefully it gets easier and easier as the weeks go by and the months go by and the supply increases. Uh, but I just thought I'd share this information with you today. So have a great weekend and take care. Bye-bye.